click the bell icon to turn on notifications. Welcome back to QuickBooks 2021. My name is Cindy. We're working through module 17 and we're on video number eight this time and we're talking about how vehicle mileage works in QuickBooks. If you have to track vehicle mileage in your business, instead of writing it down in that notebook, you can actually track each trip in QuickBooks. Let's flip over to QuickBooks and I'll show you where the vehicle mileage option is and how you would track each trip. To get to the option to track your vehicle mileage, go to the menu and click on Company, and down near the bottom you'll see Enter Vehicle Mileage. The first thing you want to do is choose the vehicle that you used for this trip, and then you want to actually use the start and end date of that trip. You can also put in the odometer start and the odometer end in, and it will calculate the miles for you. If you don't have that, you can just plug in 50 miles as an example, and it will track those 50 miles. If this trip is related to a customer or job for your organization, this becomes part of your job costing. Make sure you choose that customer and job from the list, and also which item would apply in this case. If you're using the class feature, you want to make sure you pick the correct class. And there's also a place for any notes, just so you'll know exactly what the trip was for. I want to point out a few things up at the top before we save this. Here's your next and previous that you're familiar with. There's your spell check. Here's where you can set up the vehicle list. Now you can also do it by clicking add new here, but if you want to see the entire vehicle list, you can click there and manage these vehicles. This is where you go if you wanted to edit or delete one of your vehicles. You can just right click and then choose edit or delete. You can also enter your vehicle mileage from this window if you'd like. Here's the mileage rates. QuickBooks will automatically keep the mileage rates up to date as long as you're actually updating the QuickBooks company file each time it asks. You might notice that when you come into QuickBooks sometime, it says there's an update. This would be one of the things that might change, so you want to make sure you always, always, always do the updates to QuickBooks. You also have some mileage reports. If you want to run a vehicle summary, you can do that. You can run a vehicle detail, a mileage by job summary, and a mileage by job detail. I'm going to go ahead and save and close. And that's how mileage works in QuickBooks. This video is part of our full QuickBooks 2021 course. Take a look at the course by clicking right over there. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. And to see more QuickBooks Pro 2020 videos, go ahead and click over there.